Hello, Mioni here, and it has taken just about two weeks for me to finish the Yokai event. I promised I would make this video, and so today we are looking at all of the weapon models for the Yokai event. I managed to get help from in game friends and viewers of the channel, I believe, the Nephis. Probably butchered that name there, but Somnus, Drake, and Vike, brothers in arms, came by the saucer to fill in blanks on classes I hadn't got at level 30 or above on my server Ragnarok. So without further ado, let's have a look at these weapons. So let's start with Dragoon. This particular spear is obtained by collecting the minion Vinox legendary medals. It glows faint blue and has Vinox face on the spearhead. It's quite a nice one this and it goes well with any blue colored glamour. I especially like the dragon heads reaching up towards the tip of the spear, very nice. Next up is the Monk Fists. These are obtained from collecting USA Peond legendary medallions. The blue flames coming out the top of each fist makes it look very cool and sort of mimics the rocket theme from the actual minion. I've seen these around quite a lot and they're quite nice actually. They could go with most monk sets in the game, including that of the artifact set. Up next we have the Warrior Axe. This thing is absolutely awesome. I love the red and gold together here. This is obtained from collecting the Jibanyan legendary medals. It's a very striking set and goes well with anything that's red and gold basically. The model here wearing a great looking set that complements the weapon perfectly so thanks for that guys. So Paladins, they get this round buckler shield and this sword. I wasn't particularly sold on the shield, but the blade is actually really quite nice. Almost elegant with the blue spirals lit up on the blade. Up next then is the bow. This is obtained through collecting the legendary medals for Whisper. It's a rather stylish recurve bow. I particularly like the sheer size of the arrows on this model. The only issue is that if you play a character with a tail on that particular race, you will likely encounter clipping through the quiver, which might put some people off, but other than that, it's a pretty nice looking bow. Scholars get this book from collecting Komajiro's legendary medals. It's not too bad. It has the cat's face on the front of the book and the usual runes on the pages. I was a little disappointed, if I'm honest, with both the books. The second book here, this time for summoners, is from collecting Manji Mutt's legendary medals. It has a metallic cover with these sort of like bolts all across it, and Manji Mutt's face on the front with red glowing eyes. Next up we have the Black Mage Staff, this time obtained from collecting Blizzaria's legendary medals. This is a very striking icicle design that periodically glows a lighter blue and then fades. It has Blizzaria's face on the end of the staff and is definitely one of my favorite favorite weapon models from this event. It goes really well with bright blue glamour as you can see here. Next up is the Ninja Daggers. This is collected by obtaining legendary medals for the Kayubi Fox Minion. They have a fox's head at the hilt of a dagger and are made of pure gold. I really like these, they are very striking and one of the best pairs of daggers I've actually seen in the game are for ninjas. Definitely worth picking up if you can get a hold of them in my opinion. White Mage now with the staff obtained from collecting legendary medals for Komasan. The staff glows a light blue and the Komasan cat is sat on top of the actual staff. It's quite a cute one this, going well with any white outfit which, let's face it, is all the normal outfits that we can get for White Mages. They're all white. Astrologians get this globe from obtaining the legendary medals for Noko the Snake Minion. This is a gold and green inlaid globe and card holder on the side of your character. It's quite nice but nothing entirely special in my opinion. There's a lot of really good looking globes in the game and I don't think this one is really as good. And now the Dark Knight weapon. This is obtained by collecting the legendary medals for Hovenyan. This is my favourite of the weapons I think, mostly because it's very oriental and doesn't really have the yokai's face printed all across the weapon. The guard is in the shape of a cat's head with ears and this red ribbon flows down from the bottom of the blade, easily fitting any oriental red or gold outfits you can think of and with Stormblood's oriental theme this is made even easier by some of the recent models added to the game. And finally, let's look at the machinist weapon, this gun. This is obtained from collecting Robonyan's legendary medals. This is a robotic gun that looks like something straight out of a science fiction film, 
or as some on Reddit have mentioned, slightly like a water gun. God, I can't unsee it. If sci-fi is your thing and you want to make a robotic set, then this is definitely the finishing touch for that set and uh, complements it really well. And that's all of the weapons. If you manage to collect all of them, you actually get a mount, the Whisper A Go Go mount. Here it is on the left next to the normal Whisper Go mount, which is on the right. Whisper Go is obtained from collecting all of the minions, and Whisper A Go Go is obtained from getting all of the weapons. The differences are quite minimal, as you can see. Whisper A Go Go glows, has more light coming from it, and has a miniature Jibanyan on the side of the mount. Other than that, they are absolutely identical. It's up to you to decide whether it was worth to grind for all of these weapons, and ultimately these mounts. Personally, I slogged through it because I would only regret not doing it later in the year. You can call that OCD if you like. Tell me below what you think is the best looking weapon in your opinion, and how far you got in your grind if you did start it. Thank you to everyone involved in this recording. I was immensely happy to have the help of the Nephi brothers from Ragnarok. Thank you a lot guys, once again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.